Yes, happy Wednesday. We're so excited to be here. We love being on location. It's such a change of we pace for do. us. We do, yes. So fantastic. So all that is coming up in the show. Make sure you hang around all morning with us here on AM Buffalo. Look, I've got my flowers on with today. It's just like I'm celebrating this thought of being able to be around the plants because we are in one of the most beautiful locations in East Amherst. Can you please? Like, I will look. second that. I, I know Joel that. is standing up on a bench right now. It's not exactly the safest thing, but I'm going to have him actually pan off. Show them where we are. This is gorgeous. Heaven. It's a nursery that has pretty much everything that you could possibly ask for when it comes to flowers and plants and everything you need to grow. Oh, it's spring, right? This is oh exactly what we're looking for. And so you, you know who we have um, pulled in to have a chat with us about this place? No better person to chat with is actually... Chris Lovercut of Lovercuts, you yes. grew up in this nursery pretty I did. much. I did, yeah. Yeah, um, I started when I was probably five years old, uh, transplanting, carrying flats. and I, uh, I know that is a true story. I was just talking to your mum, Terry, and she said I put them to work at four, actually. She said oh, four, four okay, so maybe. I'm going to fact check you. <laughs> probably, probably even earlier than that. I've been around the greenhouse my whole, my whole life, and uh, now this is uh, our new location that we built in 2015. And, it's, uh, it's, it's been a dream come true for us. I hear that this family-owned business has really been kind of a salvation for our local economy because the community was able to use this space over the past several years, which is fantastic considering what we've been through with the pandemic. Can you tell us about what you did to open up this space to those who might need it? Yeah, for sure. So we, uh, during the pandemic, we had this big space uh, come like uh, winter time and we, had, we weren't using it. We had all just empty benches and uh, we pulled all the benches down and we invited a bunch of local artisans um, you know, crafts, uh, other businesses to sell their product. Uh, we started off with basically no charge. Mm -hmm. We just let them come in and, and it helped, helped us uh, cross market um, between other businesses. So we won, uh, they won, they had a place to sell. And a lot of farmers markets were closed down. Right. A lot of events were closed down. So it gave them an outlet to really uh, boost their business as well. Yes, and right now the focus is springtime. I know you're excited. I know a lot of folks in Western New York just can't wait to get into the dirt. What do you have set up here that people can take advantage of right now? Because I know they're worried about the weather, but it's it's a good time, right? For sure. So hanging baskets are your first uh, first rush So because you can bring them in easily. So you can put them out on the nice days like today and you can bring them in when the nights are a little bit cooler. We still have some nights coming up, I think in the 30s. Um, so you'll want to bring the baskets in at that point. And then also we have a lot of like four and a half inch potted uh, um, annuals. Um, those are great for putting in your in your container gardening, which I think you guys are gonna oh, do a little bit of, a big later. Fan of that. Yep. Yes. Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be baking our own little <laughs> container garden. Yep. So then yeah, you can bring those in too. So you can plant those up, and we have pre-made ones as well. So a mm. little bit a little bit um, for people that want to do the work, and then people that don't. Don't feel like doing and the work. you just want the beauty. Yes, exactly. 100%. Exactly. Yeah. I get that both ways. I like to get my hands dirty, but I also like what you guys do, the professionals. Yeah. Yes. What you know? What is it like? This is a family business that has gone on for a long time, and not everybody sticks with their family business. What's made you want to stay at Lavacos? Aside from maybe your mum would probably never let you leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, it's a dream come true working and. I mean, it's it, like I, I can tell my employees in, in March, it's the best place you can work. It's just happy. It's sun. It's always bright in here. This is a really nice environment and, and a chance to, to kind of run my own business was, was great. Mm -hmm. um, all my, my brother and sister are both involved, so it tells you something. And we have a, we have a tight knit family, um, but it's just enjoyable to work with the flowers. Um, you know, we have shrubs, trees. It's just it's just an enjoyable and the customers are very happy. It's when they come in here. It's a very uh, satisfying uh, industry to be in. Oh, that makes sense. You know what I want to know? Uh, I mean, flowers is something that a lot of people get their mum's plants for Mother's Day. What are you going to get your mum for Mother's Day? I was wondering the oh, same man. thing. We usually take we usually take her out, uh, but it's usually after Mother's Day. Unfortunately, it's one of our busiest <laughs> weekends, so she gets kind of pushed aside a little bit, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, I've never gotten her flowers, so <laughs> I don't think. Well, actually, maybe I do. Sense. I mean, I, we grow all these uh, for, for her, so that's, that's good, oh, too. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> See, all of these are for mom, right? Yep, exactly, exactly. <laughs> and the profit, so that's exactly. good. That's fantastic. <laughs> yep, yep. Love it. Well, you know what? If you had to say, what is your favorite flower? That's kind of hard to say, right? You've got so much to choose from, but is there something that you love to see every year? So I love our, our begonia baskets. They're really just, they have tons of flowers. They're big. Um, those are probably my favorite, um, you know, flowers. Mm. But I'm more of a foliage. I like our coleus. They don't have, they're not really grown for the flowers, but they have just such cool uh, foliage. That's probably my favorite. And you know what? I always love go to, going into nurseries, not just to pick up actual plants, but to get some tips. You know, around this time of year, some people are thinking, is it too early? But is there something that we can be doing to get the soil ready? I know, like, as an amateur gardener, 
I love to hear from you what you think is the best thing to do, especially to keep those weeds at bay, you know, all the good stuff. For sure, yeah. I'd recommend going out, just pulling all your weeds, um, you know, putting any weed preventer down that you want to want to apply, getting your beds just ready. Um, you can start mulching now. Um, and then, and obviously in the garden, you can start putting the compost down and get mm -hmm. that all tilled up so that when it's time to plant, you can just go for it. Okay, and so there are you can get it all cleared out and ready. And how, how good is that for a while? You can just let it sit? For sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's a great time to do it because, you know, if you have the time, it's, it's just great to get a, get a head start on that. So the buds are just ready to go, and then once it's time to plant, you just fire away. And it's never too cold to do that? Like, do, you're supposed to just wait until a certain temperature? No, no, no. Oh. Good. I did mine last weekend, so oh, yeah, nice. that's a great. We're, we have our landscapers out all the time doing, uh, doing you know, getting the beds ready and stuff. So, so I'm not behind the eight ball here? No, no. Okay. Uh, a lot of people haven't even started yet. <laughs> okay, good. That's all we like to hear. Well, thank you so much, Chris. Oh we appreciate gosh. you being on AM Buffalo this morning. Yep. We're going to hear much more about what's going on here at Lava Cots, yes, but we're yeah. going to actually take a quick break. We're going to, oh, we wanted yes. to make sure that we gave you something before Mother's Day. Oh yes. Okay. So as you can see, you can see where Lava Cuts is. We're just showing you that on the screen right now, but um, yeah, we'll be back in just a moment with tips on how to get your pets to the vet. But before we go, check this out. This is some really good free idea that you could do for, mom, for Mother's Day.